Hello and welcome to Tech Deals Game Performance Review Time Grand Theft Auto 5. We're playing Grand Theft Auto 5 today on an Acer Aspire E15 15.6 inch laptop computer. I've previously reviewed this computer. A link to that review will be in the video description below, as well as a link to several other videos on that computer. Windows performance review, other game performance reviews, a RAM upgrade, a hard drive installation. It's a great, great machine for about $550. Please go check those links out in the description below. But today we're playing Grand Theft Auto V, looking at its performance at full HD or 1080p resolution, normal detail with distant sliders to max. You can see the actual detail settings at the beginning of this video. I left it in since Grand Theft Auto V has no detail presets. You can see exactly what I selected in order to replicate these results if you are interested. Briefly, the hardware in this computer, Intel Core i5-6200U processor. This is a two-core, four-thread processor, sixth generation Skylake. It is a very, very good chip from Intel at a maximum of 2.8 gigahertz. We have 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM in this machine. It has been upgraded from the standard eight gigabytes and the graphics chip is an NVIDIA GT 940MX dedicated gaming graphics card with two gigabytes of VRAM. Fraps was used for the minimum, maximum, and average game performance numbers that you will see at the end of this video. Please note Fraps was not used to record the video gameplay itself, just the frame rate. The actual gameplay that you're watching right now was recorded on an HD60 Pro. This is a hardware capture card that is physically installed in a completely different computer. The HDMI out from the laptop is run to the capture card, and then the HDMI from the capture card is run to the monitor. So the computer does not even know it's being recorded, so there is no performance impact at all. I'm not using any software solutions, shadow play fraps, no software is being used to record this, it's being done on a separate computer. So the performance that you see is the performance that you will get if you buy this laptop and play Grand Theft Auto V on it. The numbers in red at the top left of the screen are from MSI Afterburner. These numbers allow you to see in real time what the game is doing with your graphics card, your memory, and your CPU. The first line is the graphics chip itself, our NVIDIA GT 940MX. We are currently using basically all of it, 98-99% of it. The usage of the chip is the first percentage. Then you have the temperature, which is pretty stable at 76 degrees Celsius. The clock rate is also stable at 862 megahertz. The next line, memory one, is not your main system RAM. That is the main system, that is the VRAM on the graphics chip itself. It is running at a base clock speed of 2.5 gigahertz. And since it's DDR memory, it's actually five gigahertz effective speed. We are using 1.8 gigabytes of our VRAM, and this is a very important point. This graphics chip has two gigabytes of dedicated VRAM. Integrated graphics do not have dedicated VRAM, and that's why even though this is a basic entry-level graphics chip, it is in fact a real graphics chip with real VRAM, which is why you can get this level of performance. If you were running this game on integrated graphics, it would not look this good at 1080p. It would not be this smooth. Now. The CPU, the third line, is at 100%, and that's going to stay pretty solid through most of this. There are four threads, but only two true cores on this processor. It's using all of them, so it's completely occupying the hyper-threading. It's worth noting that Grand Theft Auto V really prefers a quad-core processor, and later in this video I'll talk about the differences between dual-core with four threads and true four-core chips, but not now. So it is using all four threads. It's completely using our CPU. The CPU is at a temperature of about 83, 84 degrees Celsius. Some people have asked me in prior videos, is this too hot? Well, no, it's not. It is within Intel safe limits. However, it is warm and it's warmer than some other machines. This is not really a dedicated gaming laptop. This laptop, when this video was recorded, had been gaming for several hours. I recorded several games back to back. So it's fully heat saturated. So it won't get any hotter than this. It's also worth noting this laptop does not have dedicated heat pipes or heat conduits, multiple fans. It's not a high-end laptop. It's $550. If it was $1,000 or $1,500, you could expect such things, but it's fine. I've owned this laptop for many months. I've played many hours of gaming on it, and it has never been a problem. For the record, 
This laptop is currently, at the time this video was recorded, in a room that was at 72 degrees Fahrenheit. It is on a computer desk with airflow around it. It's not on carpet, it's not on a couch. However, there's no additional fans around it. There's no air blowing onto the laptop, so it's just sitting in the room. RAM, the third line. This is the actual main system RAM, and if you look, you'll see that we're basically using eight gigabytes of RAM. Now this computer comes with 8 gigabytes from the factory, but I have upgraded it to 16 gigabytes. And this is why, if you want to play games such as Grand Theft Auto V, Battlefield 1, Rise of the Tomb Raider, you don't have to have 16 gigabytes, but you should have 16 gigabytes. And this is exactly why. Yes, it may seem apparent, well, if it's using 8 gigs, then I can have 8 gigs and everything will be fine. Well, no, because Windows will never let you use all of your RAM. It needs some of that memory for its own use. It needs to leave some memory free for uh, things that load in the background and for internal system processes. It just never quite uses all of it. If we only had 8 gigabytes of RAM in the system, we'd probably have a full gigabyte swapping to the hard drive or the SSD, slowing the system down. Not by a lot, but it would put extra wear on the solid state drive that's in this computer, and it would introduce minor hiccups when loading new areas or driving from section of town to section of town. Upgrading the RAM from eight to 16 gigabytes is less than $40, and it takes two minutes. Again, there's a video on this. I've, there's, that will be in the description below showing how to do it. It's basically insert it, and it works. There's nothing to do. So by all means, if you're going to buy this laptop or any laptop with 8 gigs of RAM and you plan to play games like this on it, please upgrade it to 16. You really need that much RAM for a smoother experience. It's also worth noting, nothing is running in the background of this laptop. This is basically a test configuration. I don't have 10 things loaded in the system tray. I don't have any web browsers open in the background. Shadowplay and no other programs are being used to record this gameplay. It's all being done externally. So the only thing running on this laptop is Steam, Fraps, MSI Afterburner, and Grand Theft Auto V. Nothing else is loaded. Not even OneDrive is running. So it is as clean as I can make it. So that's RAM. What about frame rate? If you've been watching the frame rate at all throughout this, you will see that we are pretty steady at about 40 frames a second. Sometimes it dips down to 30, sometimes it picks up to 50. It is not, however, smooth at 60 frames a second. You would have to lower the resolution down to 720p or perhaps 900p to get 60 frames a second. It can be done, but that's a personal preference. Do you want 1080p and 40 frames a second, or do you want 720p and 60? Or maybe 900, depending upon how you have the distance slider set up. If you look in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see that our fraps counter has come back. The yellow counter in the upper right-hand corner is our fraps counter. All the time I've been talking, fraps has been recording the frame rate of the gameplay in the background. Those numbers will be on a slide at the end of this video for minimum, maximum, and average overall frame rate, but that is set up to record a five minute run. Well, that five minutes is up, so that's why you see that now. I may run another one. In fact, I think I did end up running two of them. I love that truck. That is a really cool truck because it's got so much mass and good acceleration. This part here, as a complete side note, was a lot of fun. I thought I would go sliding around with no tires and see how well it drives. I don't think a real truck like this would drive like that in real life. So those are the numbers from MSI up at the top. Um, at this point, I'm going to turn the sound up just a bit and let you watch and see how the overall performance goes. That is a whole lot of sliding around. I will say, this is almost like surfing. I mean, it, it sounds silly to say it, and of course that doesn't work at all, but hey, there's a handy car to stop the slide, and uh, thank you very much. But you know what, this sliding around doesn't work, so how about we cheat? There we go. Those cops are probably like, wait a minute, how did he suddenly get new tires? This isn't possible. Thanks for the, thanks for the nudge. It's really nice when they give you a nice push to get your speed built up. Driving around creating mayhem is entirely too much fun. I still have not actually finished the main story of this game. I do have Michael, the second character, and... Oh, don't hang on to the side of that truck. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Thankfully, this isn't my truck either. That is a lot of crashing. 
It is such a ridiculous amount of fun. It's the kind of thing that you wish you could like do like in a movie, but you can't because you know real life is not that much fun. But that's okay. Um, don't ride a bike in front of a big rig being dri driven by a lunatic with a keyboard. One of those guys just keeps falling off every time they pull in front of you. Crash. Ow. That's gonna break an axle. This is a tough truck. There are several big rigs in this game. Several big rigs in this game. But this one, with the cab in the back, has got one of the, um... One of the best, I don't know if it's mass or power, but it, it does the best job of kicking the vehicles out of the way and still driving. Oh, this, hang on, wait for it. Yeah! <laughs> Quick turtle up before it blows up. That is way too awesome. If you thought that was awesome, give this video a like. If you thought it was super awesome, then rewind back and watch it again, because that was pretty cool. Look at these guys. They're driving down the highway at 60 miles an hour, hanging onto the side of a Suburban with a guy shooting with an Uzi or a Mac-10 or whatever it is out the window. They're nuts. I would hope that real cops would not be this reckless. And he gave me another nudge. Oop, look at these two big trucks in front of me. Let's see, can I squeeze through? Can I squeeze through? Oh, m oh man, I hit the uh, light piece of concrete. That would destroy that truck. Oh well, who's keeping track? Let's drive down in the tunnel, shall we? Is there anybody else crashing? Oh, what's funny is the cops will sometimes steal other cars. That's not a, a cop car. He took somebody's uh, brown Suburban. In another section, I actually ended up in the parking lot over by the airport and the cop cars weren't around. And so I stole a car from the middle of the parking lot and the cops, oop, am I gonna get it? No, I missed him. And the cops, that was kind of cool. Two cool points. Um, and the cops ended up stealing like four cars from the parking lot to chase me around with. It was hilarious. There was like four cops in four civilian cars. Don't crash into me, you silly truck. Let's get on the freeway and see if we can do some real mayhem. Missed me. Now you got to tell your bosses you missed the lunatic in the in the big, huge, big rig. Don't hit that. That has too much mass. <laughs> oh! Did you see the cop in the bottom left-hand corner? He hit the uh, signpost in the middle and came to a complete stop. And you're going to miss me. Missed me. I want the Beach Boys song in the background. Round, round, get around. I get around. That was painful. Get around. Yeah, I know. I shouldn't sing. That's just dreadful. I think it's interesting how the cops change depending on which section of the city you're in. You know, some you've got the the, the black cars for the uh, city, and then you got these white ones out in the boom, coming through. Yeah, don't do that. Oh, smart car! In the in the ongoing battle between smart cars and big rigs, smart cars continue to lose, but they try valiantly every time. Don't pull your little oops. That is an old, what is that, like a, like a, a Datsun 280 from the, get out of my way, a Datsun 280ZX from the 80s or early 90s, kind of what it looks like, I don't think any, oh, I think he's going off the cliff, oh, I turned the camera, there's a couple of times where they get knocked off the bridge or go flying, that's pretty cool. and they still don't give up. Can I run them off the bridge? Can I run them off? Will I, will I, will I? One or two of these I think I run off the bridge, which is pretty cool. And hanging onto the side of a Suburban at 60 plus miles an hour down the freeway with a guy who has rammed every car in the world. Silly cops. This is my road. Oh, that's gotta hurt. This is why I don't ride motorcycles. I mean, the odds of that happening in real life are obviously slim, but you know what? It only has to happen once. Who is this? What is this? Is that a motorcycle? Oh, I don't think I'll get there. That's a wicked cool slide. I don't know about you, but that... That's pro skills right there. That was a nice slide. Handbrake turn in a big rig. 
How about we just drive back and forth here? Ooh, helicopter. Bang, bang. Yeah, that's not going to be good for the helicopter. Wait, will I get him? Will I get him? <gasps> oh, no! That'll buff right out. Uh, or not. I didn't do it. The cops are shooting at me so much, I'm going to blame them. And my painkiller's off. How long do you think I can drive around without the cheats activated? I currently do not have the invincibility cheat. In fact, I don't rem I didn't notice where it went off. I'm, I'm watching this as it goes. And... Oh, you're standing in the middle of... Sorry, dude. Another handbrake turn. Two points for coolness. Minus one point for not completely making the turn all the way. Oh, and they brought me more fish to fry. Hello, helicopter. Wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. And boom. Those helicopters are expensive. I'm not even looking where I'm going. Look, Ma, no hands. Ouch. I didn't even see that. I thought was a good shot considering I didn't even know he was there. This isn't being shown with a replay system. This is actually as I was playing it recorded. So when I'm driving, looking at the front of the... Tr oh, will I get him? Oh, weak sauce. How about we get him? Oh, no. I've run out of ammo for my... Uh, my truck smoking. Do you notice that? Um, Truck don't smoke. That's hazardous to your health. The Surgeon General says that truck smoking is bad for your potential health, especially if it could light on fire and explode. And... My Uzi or mini... <laughs> not looking where I'm going. <laughs> oh, you know, there are just some moments that are hilarious. I have to admit that when playing this, that there have been moments that I wish I had on video that were just... just absolutely funny. Can I get him with a handgun? Watch the bullet counter on the top right. This is just a hand... This is just a basic pistol here. Will I get him? Will I get him? Not looking where I'm going? Only amateurs look where they're going. And... Ooh! Almost hit him. What happens if I go this way? I probably should have done another tool up to give me more ammo for the Uzi, but, you know... Oh! <gasps> oh! Hang on, hang on. Oh. Let's go look at those results, shall we? Wow, if I had not died, he would have gone diving over that bridge. Let's take a look at the performance numbers. Playing on the NVIDIA GT 940MX 2GB graphics card, we have an average of 43 frames per second, a minimum of 32, and a max of 61. Now this is at 1080p, full HD, at normal detail with the distance sliders to max, as you saw at the beginning of this video. It's actually very, very playable if not ideal. Certainly, I would prefer 60 frames per second, but on a $550 laptop, you simply aren't going to get it, not at 1080p. As I said earlier in the video, you can set the resolution to 720 or 900p, and you will improve these numbers. However, it's very, very playable at 1080p with this performance, and it looks much better than it does at 720p. That's a personal preference. By all means, play with those settings how you prefer. Now, I mentioned earlier in the video that this is not really a dedicated gaming laptop. It will game, and it can game, and I've shown it playing a number of games. However, it's $550. If you've got a couple hundred dollars more, I highly suggest you step up a level if you want to play games. Now, if you just want to occasionally play games here and there and don't care about doing it all the time, this works fine. But the Dell Inspiron 15-inch laptop I've reviewed previously for $800 has a true quad-core processor and it has a GTX 960M graphics card with 4 gigs of VRAM. It is double the graphics power and double the CPU power. And I have done Grand Theft Auto V on that laptop and it is much better than this is. But it's $800 instead of $550. So the purpose of this video is to show you what $550 buys you versus say $800. Because if $800 is not in your budget, then it's simply not in your budget. And I certainly understand that. 
I will link in the video description below to my, not just the reviews of this laptop, but also to that Dell $800 laptop so that you can see the difference and what I'm talking about and by all means make the choice that works for you. Did you like this video? Give it a like. Did you not? Don't. Remember to subscribe to my channel with the big huge red button down there to get updates to future videos on this and other computers, hardware unboxings, how-to guides, and many other cool videos. As always, please check out my video description below, links to buy Grand Theft Auto 5, links to buy this laptop at Amazon and Newegg, links to buy the Dell laptop at Amazon and Newegg will be in the description below. If you like my channel and you want to see more videos like this, go buy something and I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much and I will see you next time.